All right, guys, welcome back to the video. Today, we're talking about the Golden State Warriors trading for none other than Chris Tapps Porzingis. I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on this. You can see me lagging in the corner, one barring it right now, but I like this trade for both sides. I think specifically I like this for the Warriors, but I'd still do it if I was a Mavs fan. The reason why I like this is because you get rid of Andrew Wiggins' contract. Now, I'm not a huge Andrew Wiggins fan, but he's a very underrated defender. 20 points per game score, athletic. Playing with Luka would help his career as well. I think he'd be much better around Luka than he would Steph Curry, that's for sure. Also, you have Kevon Looney. The Mavs need defense right now, especially if they're losing Brazingas. They're going to need a rim protector. I'm a big Kevon Looney fan. I believe he's about – he's young. He's like 24, 23. Jordan Poole, a young player. The Mavs, they don't have a lot of young guys that can score the basketball, so they get Jordan Poole, and then they get a 2023 first-round pick. Clay Curry, Porzingis, Draymond Green. That pick probably won't be great, but it's still a first round pick nonetheless. It's going to be in the 20s, 20 to mid 20s, probably. The Warriors will be insane. And then for the Warriors, I like this trade because you get Chris S. Porzingis, who can stretch the floor, but he can also protect the rim. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Like Porzingis, he definitely could be a star in this league if he could stay healthy, but he can't stay healthy. So trading those players for Porzingis is risky, but also like, Kavon Looney, Andrew Wiggins, and Jordan Poole. The Warriors with a prime, basically, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry. I mean, I know Steph's 33, but he's still in his prime because he doesn't rely on athleticism. Draymond Green, like, they still got a couple of years left. So, I mean, Steph's coming off of almost as good of his, his unanimous MVP season. He was a little bit worse. Obviously, he played with a worse, a much worse roster. So, to say Steph's in his prime is completely fair. I think he's got a couple more years left. Or maybe he's like a he's, – he's, I don't know. what's Not peak, but he's at, like, the back end of his prime, I guess, if that makes any sense. So, I mean, Porzingis, like, to get Porzingis, who he could be the difference maker. Like, Draymond Green and Porzingis defensively would be really good. Klay Thompson is coming back. So, it would be Curry, Clay, Blank, maybe, like, Toscano Anderson. Or they probably signed someone. Dre and then Porzingis. Porzingis at the five. I mean, Porzingis at the five does scream injury because he's guys are going to be playing physical with him. But also, Borzingis, I mean, can Borzingis play the five? He's not the greatest rebounder. But Draymond Green, I mean, Draymond Green would be averaging more rebounds a game than Borzingis is the funny thing. I, I just, I don't see you risking much. Jordan Poole is a great player, can break out, but he doesn't help you right now. I mean, coming off their bench would be a good piece, but he doesn't help you win a championship, in my opinion at least. That first-round pick is whatever. And then Andrew Wiggins, they want to get rid of his contract anyway. They're asking teams to get rid of his contract. And Kevon Looney, you can sign someone in free agency or the buyout market that can be just as good, if not better. So, oh, also, oh, and they're getting Trey Burke. I didn't even know they were getting Trey Burke. Yeah, Trey Burke. I mean, J Trey Burke can fill in for Poole. He's not he's not as good, but, I mean, Trey Burke can get hot. He's he's kind of the same player, being honest with you. I mean, he's not, I mean Jordan Poole, uh, he, this one stretch, he was averaging, I think the last, like, couple of games, like, I remember, I think it was, like, five or seven games he was averaging over 20. I mean, Jordan, Jordan Poole is a great player. But you're getting rid of, getting rid of Wiggins' contract, and then – yeah, I just I think this is a good trade for both sides. It's very balanced, being honest with you guys. I like it a lot. I would say this benefits the I think this benefits the again, I think this definitely benefits the Warriors more. Because you have upside. I mean, you're not getting any upside with Andrew Wiggins. You know what you're getting. You're gonna get a 20 points a game score that can defend, but can't do much else, can disappear at times. Pulling a first gives them some nice young pieces. They could flip them if they wanted to. This doesn't help the the Mavericks like win now though. Like with Luca, like I mean, getting Wiggins would be cool, but I, don't, I honestly I think even Porz, uh, passive Porzingis that like Porzingis is playoffs. I mean, I mean Wiggins. I don't know. You guys, let me know your thoughts, Warriors and Mavs fans, or just NBA fans. Let me know your thoughts on this. I think this is a fair trade. I don't, I don't honestly don't even know if this makes the Mavericks any better. Getting Jordan Poole in that first makes me happier than Wiggins is the funny thing. And then Warriors get Porzingis, who sounds great. Like Porzingis, 7-3 can shoot and protect the rim, but is he going to be available? Is he going to shoot the ball? I think defensively, the Warriors could upgrade there. I mean, they're going to get clay back, which helps. And then you bring in Porzingis. That helps as well. Defensively, this helps the Warriors, which is what they need. They don't really need more offense. But I, I would love this, dude, honestly. I would love this for the Warriors. If I was the Mavs, I wouldn't. I wouldn't like it, but I wouldn't hate it. Like, if it got accepted, I wouldn't complain, but I wouldn't be like, yo, great trade by uh, Mark Cuban. That's basically the bottom line of it. 
Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts, man. I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. I think Warriors would do this. Or actually, well, Porzingis is coming off of a very disappointing first round playoffs. So would they do it is the thing. I mean, Jordan Poole, I don't I don't think Warriors fans would want to give him up. And they're a first round pick. Kevon Looney, Wiggins, I don't think would be like people really care. But Poole, he's a fan favorite for sure. And then a first round pick. I mean, you're giving up a first round pick. Nobody ever wants to do that. If you're giving up a first round pick, you, you want to be getting a star back. Or if you're giving up a first, you want to be getting back a a guy like Dennis Schroeder. I know he didn't play well in the against the Suns, but remember when AD and LeBron were healthy with Schroeder, they were 22 and seven. So I mean that that first round late first round pick for Dennis Schroeder. That essentially that would be a late first round pick if the Warriors stay healthy. So let's look at Porzingis and then we'll head out of here. So Chris has Porzingis stats. real quick i'm just trying to make sure that my uh maz video isn't up yet give me a second here guys okay cool okay so chris has pressing is espn i like to click on that so he's seven three two forty doesn't have a lot of lower body strength so don't expect a post up game so against the clippers in the playoffs he averaged 16 and a half 10 rebounds really he averaged 10 rebounds that's crazy 50% from the free throw line, 36 from three, and 50 from the field. He, he's an efficient player. Brazingis is efficient. He's just not aggressive at all. I think he'd be good next to Steph Clay and Draymond. They would push him. They've got that championship experience. I mean, Luca has championship experience in Europe, but I mean, this is the Golden State Warriors. Those guys are going to be on Brazingis. I, I like this trade for the Warriors, and I don't hate it for the Mavs. This really benefits the Warriors. I mean, the title in the video is Warriors trading for him, so it only makes sense that it benefits the Warriors. But regular season, guys, 20 and 9. 85 and a half from the free throw line, 37 from the three and 47 from the field. I think Porzingis can easily be a 50, 40, 90 guy in the Warriors. The 50% from the field when you have Steph Curry and Draymond Green giving you the ball is should not be difficult. 40 from three, again, same thing, open catch and shoot shots and 90 from the free throw line, 85 and a half, 86 essentially. So I think Porzingis would be a 50, 40, 90 guy for the Warriors. Again, he's how old is he? 25. He's 25 years old. He's got upside. I love this trade for the Warriors. Yeah, giving up a first impulse sucks, but if Porzingis turns into that guy, he can really be a monster. I mean, he can change the Warriors franchise. Also, remember, Clay's like 31, Curry 33, Dre's 30, 31. I mean, so Porzingis is five, six, seven years younger than those guys. So, I mean, Porzingis is going to be a star. He is going into free agency, I want to say, next season. Is it next season? Or is it two? I think it's uh, – where's his contract? Uh, Chris Nats Porzingis contract. And imagine you take a slight pick up to keep playing with the Warriors if they were winning. Five years, 158 million, including. I. So yeah, guys, in 2024, he's going into unrestricted free agency. Yeah, they've got they've got him on a contract. Yeah, guys, I, I would do this. All right, guys, I'm going to sign it here, though, man. But I uh, appreciate y'all for pulling up, Warriors fans. Good luck next season. Going to be a big offseason. Getting Clay back. Can't wait to watch him play. But peace.